Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Yakin here Saradev and welcome back to another lecture and today we'll talk about how to write chemical formulas writing chemical formulas writing chemical formula what is actually a chemical formula chemical formula is actually you can say it's a collection of symbols it's a collection of symbols of elements that are present in a compound let's say if there is a compound x okay a chemical formula will show all the symbols of all the elements in this compound and it will also tell us their proportions okay so how do for example for example if we already know you must be aware of the fact that water has uh, that the mole that the chemical formula of water is h2o right so the chemical formula of water is h2o what does this chemical formula reflect it tells you about all the atoms of the elements that are present in the in the water molecule and it also tell you how much is hydrogen and how much is oxygen its ratio or its proportion right that's what a chemical formula is all about it represents all the elements in a compound so how do we write it let's get down to it uh okay let's say if i want to write the formula of sodium oxide okay i want you to write the chemical formula of sodium oxide so how do we do it we go to the periodic table see the symbol of sodium which is na and the symbol of oxygen oxide is actually the negative ion of oxygen so symbol of oxygen is o okay so sodium you have to uh, write the charges on these atoms in order to write the chemical formula because these charges are going to decide the proportion of each atom inside this inside this compound sodium belongs to group 1 so it will have a plus 1 charge oxygen belongs to group 6 so it has a minus 2 charge so what do we do only the magnitude not the charges only the magnitude cross multiply only the magnitudes cross multiply one of sodium goes here two of oxygen comes over here so you will get na2o okay this would be the chemical formula sodium oxide let's do some other ones let's say let's say we want to write the formula of magnesium chloride magnesium chloride so magnesium has the charge mg plus 2 chlorine has cl minus 1 one comes here two goes there so mg cl you don't need to write one over here so one is pretty self explanatory if we don't write one for example we don't write one x we just write x and one is i just understood that the x there okay let's do some other example let's do aluminum fluoride aluminum fluoride just remember that we are here we are writing chemical formulas of ionic compounds okay we are writing chemical formula ionic compounds because they follow a certain set of rules uh, chemical formulas of covalent compounds do not follow any certain rules okay uh, so you just need, you will just remember them over time for example you already know this is a covalent compound and we already know that its formula is h2o okay but uh, just focus on the fact that currently we are just talking about the chemical formula of ionic compounds so aluminum fluoride aluminum has a plus 3 charge and fluorine has a minus 1 charge fluoride actually has a minus 1 charge just remember that uh, i when a substance ends in i it's usually an ion it's usually a negative ion like chlorine becomes chloride chlorine becomes fluoride oxygen becomes oxide sulfur becomes sulfide and so on and so forth so fluoride is actually fluorine which has gained one electron okay so how do we write it one goes here and three goes here so This chemical formula would be ALF three. Okay, there is another variation of compounds like sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Sodium has the charge of plus one, and chlorine has the charge minus one. Okay. Okay. So what would happen here? One goes here and one goes here. Actually, when the charges are balanced and opposite, if the charges are balanced in magnitude and opposite in Charge, 
so you can actually cancel them so n plus 1 minus 1 cancel each other out and the formula would be NaCl ok let's do another example of the sort let's do magnesium oxide let's do magnesium oxide so magnesium has a charge of plus 2 oxygen has a charge of minus 2 charge is a balance which you can simply write MgO ok so that's how it works uh, you can also write down the chemical formula of calcium sulfide calcium sulfide calcium has a charge Ca plus 2 and sulfur is S minus 2 ok sulfide is the ion of sulfur charge the balance of calcium sulfide ok ok so these are here we are just talking about uh, elements or ions uh, whose charges we can actually uh, deduce from the periodic table but not all of them can be deduced from the periodic table there are certain set of ions which are called polyatomic ions which are called polyatomic ions these ions you need to remember their charges because you are not going to get them in the periodic table they are called polyatomic ions they, these are the ions which are made up of on, more than one type of atoms ok uh, all the ions we have done they belong to only one element. Yes, they are polyatomic ions, which is made of they are made up of more than one atom. For example, the first one is OH minus one ion. It's called hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ion. Then there is carbonate CO3 minus two. You can say CO3 two minus. That's a better way of writing it. Carbonate ion. Carbonate ion. SO4 2 minus sulfate ion, sulfate ion, and then there is nitrate ion, NO3 1 minus nitrate ion, then there is phosphate ion, PO4 3 minus phosphate ion, phosphate, then there is another one that is called ammonium NH4 plus 1 this is the only uh, positive polyatomic ion that's in your syllabus ammonium ion ammonium ion you must be familiar with just you must get yourself familiar with these you must know okay, how how many atoms are there in hydroxide ion which atoms and what is their charges you have to memorize them as it is okay so let's write some chemical formula with the polyatomic ions. Let's do sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Right. So Na is plus 1, hydroxide is OH minus 1. So the charge is a balance. So the formula of sodium hydroxide will be NaOH. Okay. 1, one 2. Uh, let's say if I, if I have to write calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide so calcium is plus 2 or 2 plus it's better to write this way I'm just have this bad habit of writing plus before the charge you can you should write Ca2 plus hydroxide is OH minus so 2 goes here and 1 goes here so calcium but you cannot write it like this because 2 has 2 will be multiplied with the whole OH ion oh, with the whole hydroxide ion if you write it like this it means that uh, 2 is being multiplied with only hydrogen so there has to be a bracket over here there has to be a bracket over here ok so it means that 2 is being multiplied with oxygen as well as with hydrogen ok let's do another example uh, aluminium nitrate aluminium nitrate okay aluminium has a plus 3 charge al plus uh, al 3 plus and nitrate no3 minus so 3 will go here 1 will go here aluminium now this 3 will multiply it with the whole no3 group okay so no3 the whole no3 will be multiplied by 3 this 3 will go here this 3 will be multiplied 
by nitrogen uh, sorry this three will multiply nitrogen as well as oxygen okay the nitrogen will be three and oxygen will be three multiplied by three nine okay now let's do another one calcium phosphate calcium phosphate calcium is plus phosphate is PO4 3 minus 3 goes here 2 goes here so CA3 2 will be multiplied with the whole phosphate so PO4 so multiply right so this will be the chemical formula of calcium phosphate okay so that's how you write chemical formulas so Stay tuned for another video in which we will discuss chemical or we will discuss how to calculate molecular formula. Okay. In fact, we will know how to calculate molecular mass. Sorry. See you later. Allah Hafiz.